It was August 16, 2004, lunchtime, when I was doing my paperwork peacefully. I'm Anna, a consistent honor student. I am fond of reading books, writing stories, and just like other normal kids, I love watching TV series and YouTube videos. You may be wondering why I can still remember the date, because that day was the day when I was bullied. Actually, that wasn't the only day that I was bullied, but that day was the most painful bully I've ever experienced. I went to my locker to put some books. Then a boy came. I don't know him, nor remember his face. Everything happened so fast. I wasn't able to save myself, or even protect myself. Then, a boy came. He helped me to stand up and pick my things up. He is Alex, the student council president. It was almost time, so he decided to bring me to my classroom. Good morning, class. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> While the teacher discusses, my mind wasn't focused. I was thinking about what happened earlier that day. I was trying to remember that boy and why he did that to me. And at the same time, I was thinking of Alex, how brave he is to stand up for me. I wish I could be like him. The class ended. While I was fixing my things, I heard someone saying hi to me. I'm not actually sure if that person was saying hi to me. Then I realized that it was Alex. He went with me and brought me in my bus. We had a good talk. At some time, I actually forgot what I was going through. I arrived home and talked to my mom. She asked me how was my day. I told her about my friend Alex. We had a good talk. I felt happy telling her this story and she felt happy for me too. And then I went to my room. That day I felt so alive and happy. There are no words that can express how happy I am. And then my phone rang. It was Alex. He invited me to join his organization that stands up for bullies. I was so excited hearing this news. We decided to meet at a coffee house to talk about his organization. Alex told everything to me about their organization. I felt so excited hearing those wonderful plans. I suggested a few and he approved it. He will be going to my house today to ask for my mom's permission. We arrive at my house and immediately we asked my mom's permission. She was happy hearing about the organization. We talked about it for hours. She was not allowing me to join the organization for she is afraid that I might get bullied too and neglect my studies and focus only on the organization. We persuade and assured her that these things will not happen. And finally, she said yes. The organization of Alex has few members as of now. So tomorrow after that, we started inviting students to join our organization. Thank God a bunch of people wanted to join with us. I don't know about you, but it felt great. Just seeing people come together, it makes me feel happy. But sometimes, the bullies will just come around and make fun of us. And even though I joined this organization to stop them, I still feel uneasy. Three months had passed and everything went well. We enjoy each other's company. We talk, 
share stories together, and by simply just being there for one another. This organization is not just simply an organization, it became our family. The bullies didn't stop, and I just can't take it anymore. I wanted to stop and quit this organization, but my friends cheered me up, especially Alex. He has always been there for me since the very start. He was my strength. Without him, I couldn't do these things. Until one day, he called up a meeting. He told us that it's been a year that he was sick. He was diagnosed with leukemia. I wanted to stop this organization to help him to get better. But he disapproved. He told us to continue what we have started. I don't know what to do, but I know I have to be strong for this organization and for Alex. Heavenly Father, I came here today to pray for my precious friend, Alex. Please help him. Heal him from this sickness. He is very kind, compassionate, and very dear to me. He doesn't deserve this. Please don't take him away from me. After five months, I received the call from his mom. I rushed to the hospital to see him one last time. I saw him on the bed. I saw how much he suffered. I felt his pain. He gave me his organization. I said I couldn't do it. But he cheered me up once more. I knew this is the last time that I am going to see him. He left us 10 years ago and went to our Heavenly Father's place. This organization started with few members, and look at us now. We built a family. As the head of this organization, I will treasure every moment with you. Thank you for staying in everything. With this, I am happy to announce that we are nominated for the best charity organization. No matter what the result will be, we will still be a family. The awarding ceremony happened, and luckily, our organization, the Family of Hope, won. On behalf of the Family of Hope organization, I want to thank all of you for the support we get from you. Without you, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have been here. I would also like to thank my family, friends, and my co-workers for being there for me throughout my whole life through the hard times and the good times. And most of all, I'd like to thank my best friend, who died 10 years ago. He started this organization, and after he died, I decided to take over this organization because it helped me and is too precious for me to let go. Here we are now, helping and giving inspiration to thousands of people. Thank you, everyone. And that's the story behind Family of Hope. Life is so wonderful. Life is so mysterious. We don't have any idea what will happen to us. We don't know when we will die. We don't know how long this organization will last. We just need to do the things that we know that are best for us. Don't let anyone or anything to pull you down or to stop you from doing what you love. Cherish every moment in your life. Help one another. Love one another.